Welcome back to the channel everyone, Helix101 here, and today we're back with more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Now we're gonna have to postpone our Road to King of Games series, considering that Kaiba Boy just released a new event in the game. That's right, the Kaiba Cup has started, and we're gonna go in and check it out. So in the last video, we got to Platinum Rank 2, and then uh, today, the Kaiba Cup started. So that's reset the entire rankings, and it looks like we'll be starting from the beginning with our Road to King of Games when we get to March 5th, once this event is over. So it's basically a PvP event. I was speaking to Darman beforehand uh, when we were waiting for this to go up live <laughs> late last night. We were hoping it might have been a PvE type event, and he was theorizing things like, oh, 8,000 life points, and you know, five lanes for cards and spell traps. But no, it's just a regular old PvP event that's replacing the ranked PvP matches for now. Sorry, up until March 6th. I said March 5th, it's March 6th. Hopefully we can get some more of this gold so I can start getting some of the cards from the trader shop since I am running dry! And it looks like a lot of the rewards are gems, so all of it is just gems and gold, which is pretty awesome. Now, without further ado, because I've been doing so well with my Elemental Mistress Dorado deck, I'm gonna be taking this into the Kaiba Cup and hoping to win some gems and gold! And hopefully some high rankings! <laughs> Again, like in the previous episode, I'll try to explain whatever the opponent's trying to do in case you're not aware what the cards are. We are facing against a Maximilian Pegasus. And it looks like I'm gonna be going second. Which is great. Because anytime second, this always means that I'm going to be able to hopefully build up the cards that I need for my combo. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. He doesn't have... I don't know if he has Mind Scan. Let me just check. He might have had Mind Scan. Let's see. Yep, he has Mind Scan. So he can see whatever cards I put face down until he drops below 3,000 life points. Alright, starting off with a, a Beater. 1,700 attack. He doesn't have any effects. He's just a really high damaging card, and he places a card face down. Most likely probably Mirror Wall. <laughs> it, oh, nice! I'm going to switch out Shard of Greed. This might be a bad move. This might be a mistake, guys, but I'm gonna try this. Hopefully I get the actual spell card for Mr. Dorado. Nope! But, this means I can delay a little bit, so that means that I will be using Shard of Greed. This is not off to a decent start, actually. <laughs> He knows that he can beat Twin-Headed Behemoth, so it's not like this is a surprise or shock. Now, I was talking about possible counters to cards in the past. What's this do? Oh no. When this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, gain life points equal to the defense of the destroyed monster. Oh good, so he's gonna be boosting his life points. So, this is interesting. I haven't seen this card used in ranked or PvP in a... actually ever. But uh, that's, he's gonna get some life points. <laughs> he's gonna get 600 life points because he destroyed, oh no, sorry, 1,200 life points because my monster had 1,200 defense. And now he's gonna attack me for 1,700. Oh my god, please be something good next pull. I, I really need something good for this next pull. <laughs> this might be the first time that I've lost, well, yep, let's activate Twin Headed Behemoth. I need to delay it for as long as possible. Even if he does get some life points, we'll have to deal with it. Alright, so now we have Twin Headed Behemoth. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. If I sacrifice my monster, what's gonna happen is that. Uh, okay, no, maybe I should. Sorry, I'm trying to think what I should do here. So, in the next turn, I'll be able to pull two cards. Once he destroys this card, I'm gonna have a lot less life points, and chances are he's probably gonna summon another monster. Okay. We're gonna play this in defense, so at least we have a little bit of a wall. Chancellor, he's probably gonna pull another third monster in this next turn. And once he does that, then I'm gonna get take some damage. Regardless, I'm gonna take some damage. That's okay. He knows he knows what card I have here because he has the ability mind scan at the start. Um so he probably knows that I'm trying to do a ritual summon here. The best part is that if this goes into the graveyard, the Jin of prog uh, pro Procrastinator, Procrastinator, Prognosticator of Rituals, I can still use it as a tribute in the graveyard to summon Mistress Dorido. Okay, so yeah, three monsters. I need a card. I need either. Oh my goodness! So next next turn, I'll need I'll need a Furin Kazan from Shard of Greed, at least one or two of them, and I'll need at least the summon card in order to get. Oh my god. I'll need the summon card 
for either the spell to summon Mr. Dorito or the actual summon card for Mr. Dorito. Please, for the love of God, I could possibly still turn this around. All right, so I'm gonna be taking 1,700 damage. I'm gonna be left with like nothing. This is gonna be a, a scrape win if I can pe pull it off. If I can pull this off, then we're gonna win. But it's gonna be it's gonna be close. Woo, okay. And I still have one of my abilities, Switcheroo, so I can still switch out a card if I have to. I have yes. Okay. Please, please be the card that I need. Activate effect. Furin Kazan, please. Furin Kazan. I'm hoping. Why is there a delay? Hello? I need to switch out a card and hope that I get Furin Kazan. I'm gonna activate. And I'm gonna get Bubonic Vermin switched out. Please be Furin Kazan. This game hates me, but this might still work. This might potentially still work, okay, guys? Um, so we have enough to summon. What I'm gonna do here, since I don't need to waste one of my cards, like, uh, to, to, to get attacked or even in defense, I'm just gonna play Mr. Storido. This might be a terrible, terrible idea. Actually, I'm gonna delay. I'm gonna try to delay as much as possible. I am gonna boost her up with Ritual Weapon. Let's use one of these guys, because... I'm gonna save that prognosticator of Jin, The Jin pro Prognasticator of Rituals, because... If this gets taken out, and I have a feeling it might, I'm gonna put it in defense position. I'm gonna put Ritual Weapon on. Hopefully he doesn't have something. He has something because, uh... There's a delay. I I'm assuming this is Mirror Wall, because there was a delay there, so... It's better that I don't try to attack, because what's gonna happen is it's gonna lower my attack, and then I'm gonna get destroyed by one of his... Uh, die graphers. All right, so we have a good solid defense here. I need to delay to try to get a Furin Kazan card because right now we're not looking too good. That stupid bubonic vermin was not what I needed that time. <laughs> that turn was not good. Wow, this is the first match and we're already starting off just fantastic. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. Is he gonna play a card face down? Most likely. Let's see. If he has something to dispel this or twister this, then I'm in trouble. Because then I'm dead. He'll, he'll, he'll clear the floor of my cards, and then it's just... We're gonna have a bad time. Okay, so he's changed. He's he's stopping his turn. He didn't have anything. <laughs> what game? Why did you do this to me? I can't, I can't, and I'm not gonna play one of these face down, because what's gonna happen is if I place it face down, he's gonna gain a thousand life points with his other monster here, Royal Knight, by destroying it. I'm just gonna keep these in my hand. That's all I'm gonna do for now. This is gonna be a delay match because I have nothing. I have nothing that I need right now. Come on. Why, game? Why? Why do you do this for me? Level six or lower ritual monster. Technically, I could equip this right now. Let's put it down. Okay, I might be able to do something with this. Let's attack, because even if he has a mirror wall, what's gonna happen is that it's only gonna go down half of this, so it's gonna be 2,100 life points. I can destroy this card safely. Let's see if he does something. Let's see what he does. He has a card. Let's see. Sphere Karibo. What's this? Mirror... Okay, mirror wall. That's fine. Now, the question is, does he have something that can boost up his character? What does he have? If it's Mitchazur, then I'm in trouble. If it's Mitchazur, then it's over. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Let's hope, for the love of God, that he doesn't have anything else that will either boost his attack or lower my attack. <laughs> this might have been a bad play. This might have been a bad play. Oh, yeah. I knew he had Mirror Wall. Guaranteed he had Mirror Wall. He's going to keep it up. Okay, he's he's gonna do it. He's gonna keep it up. That means he has something in his up his sleeve that might not be good for us. Oh no! And it's the game. Well played, Kai. Uh, I was gonna say Kai, but well played, Pegasus. Oh, 
So not only is he gonna boost his attack- Oh, I should've played defensively! Oh, I should've played defensively- Oh, I, yep, that's my own mistake, and it's game over, guys. So long, no retry. Well played. Well played. Yeah. So that's our first loss, so he... You know what, That that's my own fault. That's my own fault. He should... I, I shouldn't have tried to attack. I should have played it more safely because I didn't have a Furin Kazan card yet in my hand. That was my mistake. And we're gonna go down some points. It's not too much. Once we get to start getting some levels and we start getting some... Some delicious gems. Now we know that next time, if they have trap cards or spell cards in their field, play it safe. No need to rush. I, I could have technically been okay, even if he had boosted his his uh, his monster with Sword of Flamberg Bow. Wicked Flamberg Bow. <laughs> Regardless if he had that boost, it wouldn't have killed us. Oh god, so we're playing a Bandit Keith, so he has Switcheroo most likely. Okay, this is not bad. We need a we need a burner card. Either that or we need Thousand Hand Senju. If we can get Thousand Hand Senju in the next pull then we could actually wipe the field in the next turn. Any day now, you can play your turn. Okay, so he set some monster face down. Chances are he's probably gonna be a ritual deck as well. Ah, and a card face down. Anything else? Please get rid of more cards, no? Okay. Ah, we might be able to use this. We're gonna use this. Actually, let's do this, okay. I'm gonna switch out. Dorito's Blessing, hope that we get either the Spell card or Thousand Hands Senji. Oh god, damn. this is bad luck! This is what happens with bad luck switcheroos, so my ability is supposed to switch out a card in the deck. Out of the 15 cards that I switched it into, I got the same damn card again. Okay, so, alright, let's do it this way. Let's play Sonic Bird. This is gonna be risky. Let's play Sonic Bird in attack position. I'm gonna get rid of the other Dorito's Blessing card in the deck, so I have less of a chance to pull that a second time. Or a third time. And I'm gonna place down Mirror Wall. I'm not gonna bother attacking, because chances are... Mm, should I try attacking? I'm gonna try attacking. Let's see, what, is, what does he have? Oh no! Regardless if I had not attacked... Okay, you know what? Regardless if I have not attacked, his ability would have been that if I had delayed that next turn, he would have flipped, flipped summoned 4-star Ladybug, and it would have destroyed my card regardless. So, okay, whatever. We're not... It's not a strong start, but... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Switching out cards. Of course he had 4-star Ladybug. Chances are he probably has another 4-star Ladybug. Or another annoying card in his deck. Maybe a uh, Yami ship, which if I destroy, then it'll just destroy my card. Okay. Alright. So that's gonna be 1,600 life points taken off from me. I need to make sure that I get a... What? Oh no, he's gonna steal my card. Oh no, that is not good. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, he's gonna try to battle. Okay, I'm gonna use it. There's no chance in hell that I have in here right now. And I have a ritual weapon, so let's do this. Let's cut it down. Okay, 700. So that that card that he has, Autonomous Action Unit, in case you're not aware. So you pay 1,500 life points, then you can target a monster in the graveyard, and it'll just pull it onto their side. So that's just fantastic. Now the good news is, I can pay 2,000 life points to keep this up. I may do that, just... In case, I, I think that's probably the save it, depending on what I get next turn. Let's see. Yep, I'm gonna keep it up. Unless he has a Sphere Karibo up top. Okay, I'm gonna do this. No! Oh no! I can't summon! Oh my god, oh my god, this is a bad mistake. This is a bad mistake, guys. What did I do? That was a bad move. I was not thinking ahead of oh no, please let it be a monster, please let it be a monster, please let it be a monster, please let it be a monster! Yes! Okay, we can do this! That was a big mistake, I shouldn't have done that, I didn't even have a monster to actually tribute summon to get Mistress Dorido. Oh, 
Oh my, my balls just shriveled into my stomach there. That could have been a bad play. That was risky. Keeping up mirror wall and paying 2,000 life points. I mean, regard. you know what, regardless, even if I didn't do that, he would have killed me the next round, so that's not a big deal. We're gonna put her in an attack position. That's fine, get, get stronger, I really don't care. He's getting nothing. I'm gonna activate Ritual Weapon. We're just gonna make her super strong. And I'm gonna put an Afurin Kazan down on the field, so in case he has a Sphere Karubo and he delays my attack, let's do this. Does he have anything? No, he doesn't. All right. Oh, this is good. This might be a win. This might be a win, guys. This might be a comeback win. Because if he summons a monster, I can wipe the field. Please don't let it be Sphere Karibo. <laughs> what are you switching out? I really hope he doesn't have a ritual monster deck. And if he has Relinquish, then we're in trouble. Face down. Okay. That's good, because then I could wipe the field. Ha! <laughs> He's in defense. Okay, so chances are this is going to be the win next turn. Let's wipe the field. Let's wipe the field of their cards. Destroy all monsters. All right. Oh, yeah. Now, we're going to do this just in case. I'm going to set it in defense. In case, in case he has a Sphere Karibo at top. Does he have a Sphere Karibo? No, he doesn't! Boom! That was a comeback victory if I ever saw it. But also very risky. What I did was very risky. Regardless, if I didn't play, uh, pay the 2,000 life points and he had attacked me if without it, and let's say I couldn't have pulled a card to summon Mr. Drido, then it would have been over. It would have been over right there and then. Not bad. Okay. Comeback victory. Look at, look at all those assessment points. Oh my goodness. Still not enough to get into two star. Ooh, what did I get here? Oh wow, that is a lot of gems. Score a total of three thousand or more dual assessment points in a day for King uh, the Kaiba Cup. Okay, wow, we're gonna be getting a lot of we're gonna be getting a lot of gems this event. Let's play one more round and see how we do. That was uh, that was risky last round. That was very risky. If I didn't have if we were in Kazan, if I didn't have a lot of things in place, then that would have been bad. Okay, so we're facing a Mako uh, Mako Tsunami deck. Chances are, got a little spit on the screen, going second, that's good. <laughs> Chances are, he's gonna be a Mythic Depths deck, yep. So that means that his goal is gonna be to try to summon a monster called uh, Daedalus. If he summons that card and he has that monster by tributing summoning uh, either two monsters or if he has a specific card in his hand that counts as two tributes, which is uh, called Unshaven Angler. If he has that monster card, chance are that's probably that. And he summons Daedalus. What's going to happen is he can use his ability to wipe the field using you, uh, Umi. If he has Umi on the field, then he can destroy that card, but he gets to destroy whatever I have on the field. No matter if it's face down, face up, attack high, whatever. Now, I didn't get a chance to look at my deck here. Um, we should probably try to delay. We're probably going to get Umi'd <laughs> at the beginning here. Gu guaranteed this is going to happen. So let, let's... Let me switch out one of these bubonic vermin because we don't need two in the hand if we're gonna play it. Okay. Okay. Let's hope. That, let's hope that he doesn't have something, or let's hope that he doesn't summon Daedalus right off the bat, because we need we need a monster to come on the field. <laughs> oh, please, please work in my hand. Please work in my favor. If I can get. Okay. If I can get. And he's not going to flip summon this one. Okay. So chances are that's not probably Yomi ship. Maybe he wants to try to bait me to destroy it. But this is going to be good. This is going to delay the inevitable for now. And if I can get Mr. J <laughs> if I can get Mr. Strider on the field and Furin Kazan. Shard agreed. Okay. Um, huh. Let's see. Should I switch out to head of Behemoth? I'm going to place him face down. This might be a bad move, because he might be able to summon Daedalus the next turn. And if he does, then my field is going to get wiped, and I'm not going to be able to protect myself. Let's do this. Okay. I'm going to play this face down, and hope that I can delay him for two turns, so I can pull the right cards. And if he destroys... 
twin headed behemoth, I can pull it back into the field. I don't know if his effect of wiping the field with Daedalus will count. Okay, let's see. Oh boy. So that wasn't Shaven Angler. And I could have. Oh, okay. No, I couldn't have attacked regardless. None of these I could have attacked. Okay. That's alright. So I'm still going to be able to have a Twin Headed Behemoth the next turn because he's going to destroy my third Bubonic Vermin that comes up because he's going to attack with Gyo Gyojin. High Tide High Tide Gyojin. So now he's fully stacked. I need to be able to summon Mr. Strider the next turn. Yes. Let's put him on the field. I need to be able to summon her. It needs to be a summon card because if it's not, then I'm in trouble. Okay, so that's a spell card. Please, switcheroo. For the love of God, please, please, please just be the summon card, the spell card. Oh. See, of course, if I had switched out Thousand Hand Senju, then that wouldn't have happened. Or it might have happened, who knows? So now I can't do anything, I can only delay. What am I going to do here, guys? What am I going to do here? Okay. This might be a bad move. No, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do it this way. I'm going to be safe. Just in case he has Daedalus draw in the next turn. And if he does, then I'm not going to be able to pull anything, but I might be able to counter. Okay. I'm going to take a lot of damage here. <laughs> I'm probably going to be left with almost no life points remaining. Okay. That was a gamble. That was a gamble. Okay. We're good. We are good now. He is game over. Hopefully. Let's see. So, I'm going to summon Sonic Bird. In attack position. I'm going to use the effect. I'm going to get the card that I need now. I'm going to place Furin Kazan down. And then I'm going to summon her. By sacrificing... Let's see. I'm going to sacrifice... My in hand send a uh, sonic bird cuz i already have her summoned place her in attack position and i'm going to equip her with a ritual weapon now the only thing is i'm not going to i'm not going to try to attack i'm not going to try to attack because i know that he probably has something there like mirror wall or something stupid Let's see what he has. He's gonna try to attack. I'm gonna just wipe his field right now. Furin Kazan, baby. Destroy all your monsters. That's fine. I'm gonna lose 500 attack, and he's probably gonna put it on Mistress Dorido. Yep, that's fine. I'm still 2,200 attack. That's still pretty good. And if I can get a secondary ritual weapon on her, then... That would be pretty awesome. Let's see. Uh, okay. Let's do this. I'm gonna put... Mirror Wall in the field. He can't use... He can't summon Daedalus now. He's, he's pretty much in trouble, so I'm gonna use... One of my Thousand Hand Senjus. And hopefully we can just one-shot him here. Let's see if we win this. Does he have a Sonic Bird? Did we beat him? I think we beat him. So this is a Mako deck down in the dumps. Let's see. Yep. Boom! Come back! What now, Mako? What now? And he tried taunting me. That's the funny part. If you saw him one of the parts earlier, he tried taunting me, which is hilarious. Oh, that was a comeback victory. Oh, we didn't start off strong, but we came back just kicking and screaming. Not bad, guys. Not bad. And we also ranked up to two. Two star streak bonus. <laughs> oh, sorry. Two star. I don't even. I don't even know. I guess it's a streak bonus depending on how long you keep winning. 
Woo! All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, that was the Kaiba Cup. We're gonna continue to try climbing the ranks and see how far we can get into this event. Please drop a like below if you enjoyed the episode, as well as subscribe so you can be notified anytime that there's any new Yu-Gi-Oh! videos coming out or any other videos on my channel. Also, please remember to check out Darman. I have his link in the description below. If you want any other tips and tricks from Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, he's, he's got a great channel for it. Go show him some love. <laughs> and I'll see you all on the next level.